Hi everyone. Yesterday I watched Arena Kings and Hikaru Nakamula. <laughs> Nakamula. <laughs> Let's go again. Hi everyone. Yesterday I watched Arena Kings tournament on chess.com and Hikaru Nakamura won that tournament. Also, what was quite interesting is how Nakamura faced lower rated opponents, which was quite impressive, and how, uh, how many moves they survived against him. So today I will show you three games and let's jump into the first game. So this opponent, DTD, was 2500 rated and Nakamura was white. He started with knight to f3. Now d5 was played b3, knight f6, b3. And yes, and Nakamura in blitz, he usually goes for this kind of setup. g6, bishop to b2, bishop g7, c4, castle. Here we can take the pawn, but Naka opted to play d4 move. c6, bishop to d3. And as you will see in second game, he also gets for this kind of setup bishop on the three bishop here knights here but now uh, his opponent made the first mistake which is bishop to f5 slight inaccuracy now nakamura took the bishop on f5 gf5 and knight b to d2 was played e6 e3 knight to e4 and now very good move by naka just playing g4 and trying to open this g file for the rook and here the best move would be let's say knight to a6 g take uh, g takes f5 and e takes f5 and we don't mind this kind of structure because knight here is very strong but his opponent took back on g4 and that was a mistake now naka took the opportunity he took back the pawn now as you can see h file is open and naka didn't even castle now f5 gf5 and another mistake rook takes f5 the better would be just to take the knight first and knight takes d2 and now rook to f5 would be a better move but after rook f5 he naka took the knight d e4 now here it's important that knight has to go to d2 not on uh, h4 because of this check uh, queen to a5 and white has to go here and king is a little bit weaker here but okay in this position white is still winning but the better move was just to play knight to d2 because now this blocks this check on uh, on a5 and now another mistake e5 now of course very good move again by naka Queen to g4, rook g5 was played, queen e6 check, king to h8, now knight jumps and takes this nice pawn or juicers, juicer, how Naka usually says, to the pawns. And now, as you can see, uh, rook is under attack, so what to play here? The opponent play rook to g6, which was a mistake. But what to do here, if we play rook to g2, queen to h3 is winning a rook. So he blundered with g a rook to g6, and now Naka took the rook, and we cannot take uh, the, uh, the queen here because black king is pinned. So the first game and first opponent survived for, survived for the nine, 19 moves. Let's check the second opponent and second game. Brutal, uh, interesting nickname. Naka again was white. He started in knight to f3, knight f6, e3, d5, b3, c6, uh, bishop to b2. See, already familiar moves. d4, yes, as the same as the, in the first game. e6, knight b to d2, bishop d6. Bishop d3, see, all these moves was played uh, in previous game. Castle, c4, 
knight b to d7 queen c2 and here the best move would be just to play this c5 and try to break uh, white center but his opponent chose the move bishop to h5 which was quite not logical because bishop is going back it's not forced to play bishop to h5 Naka didn't play h3 and now Nakamura played the move knight to e5 and bishop to g6 was played another inaccuracy now knight takes bishop so now this knight is uh, sorry this bishop and queen are nice angled towards this pawn on g6 uh, castle rook c8 another inaccuracy now Naka breaks with e e4 we love the center and we would like to attack in the center d e4 knight e4 knight e4 bishop to e4 was played knight to f6 bishop f3 yeah Naka is just like computer finding all the best and the first computer moves rook a to d1 queen to c7 g3 c5 d5 now e d5 bishop d5 and now the best move would be just to take this bishop or maybe play bishop to e5 first and okay white is still a little bit better but position is equal but now his opponent blundered with b6 and of course Nakamura which is very strong tactical players he took the opportunity and found the winning move bishop takes f6 g f6 and very beautiful move for the end queen takes uh, g6 and it's game over uh, black cannot take because he's pinned and let's say after king here we can take the f7 pawn and this is hopeless position for uh, for a black so actually second opponent uh, he survived for 22 moves so a little bit more than the uh, first one let's check now uh, the third game opponent was Tepi Tarantula 2300 knight f3 g6 b3 again familiar setup bishop to g7 d4 knight f6 bishop to b2 castle e3 a5 c4 and here already mistake by black but very subtle you know um, positional mistake a4 he wants to take here and just exchange the pawns and open his rook uh, for for that attack but now Naka played really nice move before not allowing him to capture and this actually creates very weak pawn on a4 d6 bishop to e2 was played knight b to d7 castle c5 another inaccuracy a3 now uh, Naka is cementing this pawn and isolating this pawn on a4 so he will attack it, attack it very soon b6 knight to c3 as you already can see knight is attacking this a4 pawn and queen is attacking and it's very important pawn knight takes a4 so white is already better queen c7 knight c3 knight to e4 knight takes bishop takes knight to d2 bishop has to return to b7 queen b3 e5 d e5 d e5 now here all in this game naka uh, makes slight inaccuracy bishop to f3 wasn't the best move better would be just to play rook f to d1 of course uh, according to computer uh, bishop to f3 and now uh, blunder actually f5 uh, uh, is a blunder because now we can take on b7 queen b7 and just play rook to uh, d1 and as you can see black king's king is quite open and uh, in danger so that's why f5 was blunder because now a white will take an initiative rook a to d 
8 was played, knight f3, e4, bishop takes, and here better would be not to take on f3, but with a king, but after knight to g5, knight is trying to jump here, queen c6 has to be played to prevent that, uh, white is still winning and better, but after this e takes f3, now we take a rook, rook takes f8, g3, knight e5, rook to d5 was played, queen to e7, b takes c5, queen to g5, yes of course why, uh, black plans is obvious to checkmate uh, uh, white's king but it's a little bit too late because now we just take uh, this knight okay black is still hoping to mate but now very nice move queen to d1 so this move actually defends everything if we play queen to h3 here we can just take the pawn so black played f4 e f4 rook takes f4 we cannot capture queen d8 uh, king to g7 Rook e7 check, king h6, queen to d2, now even a rook is pinned, and after g5, queen to d6 was played, and in this position, uh, uh, this position black resigned, what would happen if we play here, this is a checkmate, so only way to prevent a checkmate is to you know, block with the rook or either with the queen. So first this, 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 this. And yeah, we can go here. And this would be a nice, very nice checkmate. So actually the third opponent uh, is a winner. He, le he lasted for and uh, survived for 33 moves. And yeah, it's quite nice example how Naka can deal with uh, lower rated opponents and uh, how uh, interesting and uh, uh, nice is to I mean inspiring and uh, is to seeing him dealing with this kind of opponent and yes so that would be it I hope you enjoyed the games as always please like share and subscribe and I'll see you soon in the next video bye